And now a little story from the apple seed. Thank you so much for being here. I'm back out on the road. <laughs> um, people sometimes ask me, you know, generally I do original stories, uh, and people sometimes ask me if you have any um, folklore or myths. So uh, I will now perform for you Homer's Odyssey. <laughs> we'll be here till Saturday. Just a rambling boy, Ithaca bound Making my way there from Troy, Alabama <laughs> Here's an adventure that I found Is the Cyclops winking or blinking <laughs> That eyeball in his head I listen for sounds of serenity With every word that he has said I notice his squint, his mouth's murky slant. Can I see a friendly glint? No, I can't. And his complimentary mints are covered with ants. <laughs> and his cyclops winking or blinking. Oh, is a cyclops winking or blinking? How can I read his mood? I wonder what he is thinking. I'm thinking he thinks of me as food. Compared to this giant, I'm a little shrimp. He's putting mascara on his one eye to primp. How can you tell? If a snake has a limp <laughs> And a cyclops winking or blinking Oh, is a cyclops winking or blinking I just want to leave this cave And from the way this cavern is stinking I can tell polyphemus don't never bathe <laughs> I'm wondering how this drama ends This giant ain't getting no help from his friends But he only pays half for his contact lens <laughs> And his cyclops winking or blinking. <laughs> this is the end of the instrumental verse. It's not really an instrument, but it could be worse. And if I don't whistle, Sam Payne will curse. <laughs> and his cyclops winking or blinking. What is the cyclops winking or blinking all alone? feels bereft and I saw him try to swat that fly it's clear he cannot perceive depth <laughs> so I stabbed him in the eye yes I know you sometimes you gotta try when there's nothing else to do now I've gotta ride out underneath this you so this is obviously you know Odysseus he's traveling he's on <laughs> He's on his way back to Penelope. He's trying to, he's on that quest, right? And, he, and he's got his fellow travelers and he looks around and there are fewer and fewer fellow travelers and he doesn't know where they are and he comes, he's hungry, he's tired and he, oh, smells something cooking out of that cave. Something is, somebody's got a barbecue going on and he goes into the cave and he finds out that what's cooking are his fellow travelers. <laughs> I know, I know. And then uh, the Polyphemus, the uh, Cyclops, his name is Polyphemus. And I know this is a college, so I have to do educational stuff. That obviously means many Femuses. <laughs> One of y'all will correct me later. It's fe it should be Femi. I, that would be the plural. And, uh, and Odysseus is uh, standing before Cyclops, and Cyclops wants to eat Odysseus, but Polyphemus is concerned about his food sources. So he says, what is your name? And Odysseus becomes wise to him. He says, nobody. What is your name? Nobody. What is your name? And the whole time, Odysseus pulls out his pocket knife. He starts whittling, 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 whittling. Nobody. And he stabs him in the eye with that stick. <laughs> nobody has stabbed me in the eye. Nobody has stabbed me in the eye. And the other, the other giants in the neighborhood go, nobody has stabbed Polyphemus in the eye. Nobody has stabbed Polyphemus in the eye. 
So I guess Polyphemus ain't stabbed in the eye. <laughs> And then he hides under a sheep. He gets under the sheep. And Polyphemus is so ignorant, he, he ends his sentences with prepositions. So, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? And he's under a sheep. And that sheep happened to be a ewe. And a ewe is a sheep, a female sheep. <laughs> he's no longer winking or blinking. Oh, he's no longer winking or blinking. Joining us for a little story from the Appleseed.